Hey, Trevor Tafiti here from SpineWise and today I want to talk to you about liver function, detoxification and why that may be important in your life and what the symptoms are that might be actually associated with problems with your liver. So if you think that might be you, hang on, I'm going to go through a whole lot of stuff to do with this and really briefly for you and give you a nice little quick summary of, of liver and detoxification patterns and what you might want to look for. Um, if you are new to our videos, please like, share, um, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, it's the easiest way for us to keep you up to date with what's going on and, and get you the latest videos that we produce as well and get you the information you're after. Okay, so let's get into the liver. So for those who don't know, the liver is actually housed in the top right side of your system. So this is over your, um, just over the, underneath the ribs on that right side in the upper part of your abdomen. Kind of has a bit of a shape. This is not quite exactly right, but kind of a bit of a shape that kind of looks like that as it fills into that space through there. Uh, and when we start talking about detoxification, really what we're talking about more than anything about is a substance known as sulfur. So sulfur is the main substance that we use uh, to detoxify and it all is derived from a, uh, a substance known as cysteine, which is a, uh, a sulfur donor. Um, and really what we're doing with that, cyst with that sulfur is forming three main uh, substances and that is glutathione, a P450 enzyme complex and a substance known as PAPS. And these three things really are responsible for the chelating and the removal of all these substances out of the system. Um, so these are our key agents that we, we're really looking for. Um, and we've seen that, um, we've probably heard of people taking glutathione supplements and things like this to try and get detoxification up. Um, and we know that these systems have profound effects on the human body in terms of detoxification, in terms of brain health, in terms of free radical removal. These are all the agents that are responsible for it. So the liver is a vital, vital organ. Um, it has over 3,000 different functions and not just about detoxification. Um, so there's a whole lot of stuff. We want to talk more about in that regard at the moment. So some key symptoms that we're looking for if the liver's not functioning correctly. Um, a bit of an interesting one is itchy skin. Uh, this is one that often goes um, uh, unnoticed and it can be itchy just all over. It can be itchy in specific locations. Maybe you've got an itch you just can't get rid of. And this is believed to be due to a specific neurotransmitter that's found in the liver that just is released, especially if you're getting severe liver damage uh, and your liver enzymes are starting to go haywire as well. This is a really important one, the itchy skin. Yellowing eyes, the whites of your eyes starting to yellow. Uh, this can also be a sign of changes to a substance known as bilirubin. Um, maintenance insomnia. Maintenance insomnia is when you start waking up during the night, uh, especially around the 3 a.m. mark. This is often associated with liver changes as well. Fatigue, especially if you haven't eaten. So one of the big things the liver does is actually stores um, uh, glucose or what we call glycogen for energy utilization if you haven't eaten for a while or if you start doing exercise from about five to 15 minutes that exercise uh, energy is really derived from stored liver glycogen. So fatigue is a common one that's associated with uh, liver changes. Um, so uh, it's, um, whilst it's usually secondary to something else, which might be thyroid dysfunction or pancreatic dysfunction or stress hormones, um, really what we're talking about is the liver changes in that as well. Uh, and also it's a common one with migraine, uh, especially because we don't really flush hormone out as effectively if the, um, if the liver's not working as uh, effectively as it should be. All right, so what can we do about uh, dysfunction in the liver? What are some of the things we can take? Well, of course, the, the first and the most important thing is make sure you're keeping your hydration levels up. If you're not getting enough fluid in, you're not gonna have the ability to flush things out. This can create an extra workload on the liver and on your kidneys as well. Vitamin A, vitamin A is an interesting one. Vitamin A um, does actually, in some way, shape or form, stimulate the liver. We've heard of things like cod liver oil, stuff like this, but vitamin A uh, really does have a profound stimulatory effect on the liver, it works tremendously well for that. Herbs such as St. Mary's thistle or St. John's wort, uh, whilst they both have other functions as well, we know St. John's wort elevates serotonin, which helps your moods. Both of them also clear out liver function and improve liver function. Uh, St. John's wort, especially the P450 enzyme complex, in fact, it works so effectively, it can in some people even render the pill ineffective. That's how well it does work. Uh, there's been a lot of talk at the moment with this substance called NAC, with the virus that's going around at the moment, the effect NAC has on this virus. Uh, but N-acetylcysteine, this is a, the um, uh, N-acetyl form of cysteine that we spoke about before, which is a sulfur, so it's a big sulfur donor. 
uh, really, really important. Alpha lipoic acid, similar as well. Alpha lipoic acid really does recycle glutathione and gets your glutathione levels up. So this is another big one. So there's two substances that you can take quite easily. Um, uh, they're freely available. Most uh, health food stores and chemists do have them uh, and they're quite safe to take. Uh, and these things can actually, again, get this up, improve liver function, improve your detoxification patterns as well. Beets, uh, beets are really important too. So beets really do have a profound effect on gallbladder function, but they can also improve liver function as well. Um, and the uh, last one, which is really, really important, is carbohydrate. So um, insulin from your pancreas actually gets dumped into the liver and the two of them together work hand in hand to regulate your blood sugars. Um, so one of the things that does happen if we do have a very high sugar-based carbohydrate orientated diet, this can actually elevate insulin and create an inhibitory effect on the liver heading forward. So we need to make sure that we get carbohydrate levels under control, get the fat metabolism up in order to take the workload off the liver uh, and help it through that process as we go as well. Anyway guys, if you have any questions about liver function, you may be having some of these symptoms, you're not too sure how to approach it or where to start, just send me a message, you're always happy to help. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, um, turn on notifications. The best way we can to keep you informed of our new and latest videos and information coming out. Um, but if you have any questions or anything, just post them up or um, send me a message. Always happy to help out in any way we can. See you in the next vid. Bye for now.